Next question, the member for Chatham Kent Leamington. Uh, thank you, thank you very much, Speaker. My question uh, through you is to the Minister of Health. The objectives of Directive 6 were to set out a provincially consistent approach to COVID-19 immunization policies in covered organizations. Now, Directive 6 was issued by Dr. Moore under the Health Protection and Promotion Act 2004, Section 77.7 .7, on August 17th of last year, and it was implemented 21 days later on September 6th. Now, the first stated objective of Directive 6 is to optimize COVID-19 immunization rates. Well, emerging, emerging evidence now demonstrates natural immunity to be superior and longer lasting to vaccine-induced immunity. It is a breach of medical ethics to ignore natural immunity and to force employees to undergo vaccination unnecessarily that could expose them to an adverse reaction compelling employees to submit Question. to a medical procedure that has little or no benefit may put many uh, at potential risks. My question to the Minister of Health is, why was natural immunity of, to COVID-19 disregarded? Minister of Health. Thank you very much. Uh, natural immunity was never disregarded. It was regarded by the experts, but wasn't considered to be sufficient enough to prevent a person from contracting uh, a COVID. What is important is to be vaccinated. Uh, not once, but twice and uh, three times, actually. We have actually exceeded uh, over 32 million vaccinations in, uh, in Ontario right now. This is the best protection for people. Natural immunity helps, but isn't going to be uh, the salvation for someone if they contract AIDS. Even with the third um, uh, inoculation, people can still get COVID, but are unlikely to be hospitalized because they have that natural protection. It's more likely to appear as a case of flu or for the cold. But that isn't because of natural immunity. Response. That's because of vaccination. 